Okay, today we're going to be talking about resveratrol and three tips to boost this polyphenol that is an antioxidant that has been positively linked to anti-inflammatory properties, uh, reducing cancer risk, even assisting in fat oxidation. This is known as the red wine antioxidant as well as the dark chocolate antioxidant. Now, what most people don't know is when paired with alcohol such as wine, it can the alcohol can reduce the antioxidant benefits of glutathione, folic acid, zinc, and magnesium, as well as vitamin Bs. So you have to be careful uh, when taking this antioxidant because you can get the benefits of this antioxidant with having, without having the downsides of the alcohol. Okay, tip number one is actually taking Japanese nutweed powder, otherwise known as itadori. So ita means pain, itai is ouch, and tori is to remove. So it's like pain removal. And when you pick, put the two words together, it becomes itadori. And basically what it was used for was for gum disease, sore mouth, sore throat, bronchitis, skin diseases. And basically it was, you know, for pain removal. So this herb has kind of like this like slight earthy kind of taste and slightly tart taste. However, if you add it to sauces or soups or anything like that, you, you barely taste um, this. And the reason why I'm introducing this, because most of you don't, what you don't know is, is that this has up to 99% trans resveratrol, the active form of resveratrol versus only five to 10% of trans resveratrol in grapes. So this has a higher amount of the active form of resveratrol. Now, most of you, I know because this is an unfamiliar food product, you're not going to know how to use it. So I'm going to give you three tips on how you can use this. So now that we know that alcohol can actually decrease the antioxidant benefits from, you know, such as glutathione, vitamin Bs, zinc, folic acid, um, you may want to drink this more in moderation and more for the purpose of enjoying the taste of wine. It boosts the taste of foods and enjoying friends and family with wine versus simply just drinking wine for resveratrol because there are other ways that you can actually naturally boost resveratrol without bringing in the alcohol that can deplete all of these antioxidants. Now you can add, add this to your shake and you will not taste it. Now, if you decide you slowly start to increase the amount that you put in there, you might notice a slightly tart taste, which may be complimentary, especially if you add it to a fruit-based protein smoothie. Now I have my clients actually use it with berries because berries have um, polyphenols and bioflavonoids, anthocyanins and proanthocyanidins. These are, especially the anthocyanins, there's studies that show that this has a tyrosinase inhibiting factor. So it actually suppresses pigment formation. So when paired with that and resveratrol, it also actually helps boost vitamin C. So if you pair that, that's one way that you can uh, use this powder is putting it into your smoothie. Tip number two is using Japanese nutweed powder, why not take one antioxidant, which is resveratrol, and then pairing it with another antioxidant, EGCG, epigallocatechin galate. Matcha powder is chock full of this antioxidant. It actually has the highest amount of this as well as the bioactive ability of this because it can be taken in so many different forms. Now this antioxidant has been clinically been shown over and over for its anti-inflammatory abilities to boost brain and liver function, assist in fat oxidation, as well as what it does to cancer cells. So much so that there are more studies that are being done with this specific antioxidant. Now there's one um, study, and I, again, the links of this will all be in my blog, which I'll put the links down below is it was a study that was done when paired with resveratrol and the antioxidant EGCG. Now this 12 week randomized double blind study that was done on obese humans and not obese mice, they were given the supplementation of both EGCG as well as resveratrol. And what they found was there, it stimulated and it increased uh, fat oxidation activity as well as mitochondrial activity 
um, without increase of insulin sensitivity. And there was one study that actually showed that when pairing a supplementation of resveratrol and glutathione, it actually had a, showed a slight increase of absorption for vitamin A, C, and E in the body. Now you can actually cook itadori. It reminds me of asparagus. You can actually tear the rough leaves off, dry them off, and make itadori tea. But I know that most people are not going to forage into their backyard, try to find itadori and do them themselves, especially if they are unfamiliar with this um, this food so you can actually take the Japanese nutweed powder which I'll put a link in the description below and you can add small amounts to it because it doesn't have very much of a taste to it you can add it in things like soups and sauces and even desserts and if you add a little bit more it does have a slight tart taste to it so if you add it in things like berry pie fillings or lemon meringue filling lemonade tomato sauce you're not going to really detect um, the the taste of this it's so subtle now if you find yourself struggling with treatment resistant hyperpigmentation or you yourself are a professional that treats people who have treatment resistant hyperpigmentation or autoimmune related skin diseases and disorders one of the things that i recommend for especially for my clients is especially for clients who have been on a lifetime of medication they're addicted to sugar or they just naturally do not eat healthy and it's very difficult for them to eat healthy because they have gut issues is to introduce them to a supplementation such as this now this is called pro shield max and it has higher amounts of egcg derived from uh, green tea so the matcha as well as resveratrol vitamin c and other uh, nutrients that are known to help with pigmentation issues and the reason why i'm recommending this is because it is easier to change someone's skincare protocol they're right on board with changing their skincare protocol than it is to change their eating habits so if it is very difficult for them then I introduce them to this supplementation. And because it's all food derived, the results of their, their pigmentation usually takes several months of consistent dosages of this. And I'll put a link up above or below to one of my clients who had really resistant treatment, treatment resistant hyperpigmentation. And you can see her skin remarkably improve after taking several months of this supplement. Now, for those of you who know that you are estrogen dominant or you've had breast, ovarian, uterine, cancer, endometriosis, or fibroids, you may want to avoid or limit resveratrol because it does have some estrogenic effects. And if that's you, go ahead and catch this video right here. And for those of you who are low in estrogen, such as myself, then this may be more beneficial for you. And for those of you who are more interested in resveratrol as a topical antioxidant for your skin, then catch this video right here in combination to vitamin C, because remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science.